Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 562. Respiratory Pharmacology, H1 Blockers. What is the mechanism of action of H1 blockers? The mechanism of action of H1 blockers is to reversibly inhibit the H1 histamine receptors, and these drugs are generally used in the treatment of allergies. Name the first generation H1 blockers. The first generation H1 blockers includes diphenhydramine, dimenhydrinate, and chlorpheniramine. So these are the drug names that contain N-N-E-N or N-N-8, such as diphenhydramine and dimenhydrinate. What are the clinical uses of the first generation H1 blockers? First generation H1 blockers are used in the treatment of allergy, motion sickness, and can also be used as sleep aids. What are the side effects and toxicity seen with the first generation H1 blockers? The side effects and toxicities of the first generation H1 blockers include sedation, anti-muscarinic effects, which means it has atropine-like effects, as well as anti-alpha adrenergic side effects such as hypotension and dizziness. What is the major difference between first generation and second generation H1 blockers? The major difference between first generation and second generation H1 blockers is that second generation is far less sedating than the first generation. And the reason for this is because second generation H1 blockers have decreased entry into the CNS. Name all the second generation H1 blockers. Second generation H1 blockers includes loratadine, fexofenadine, desloratadine, and cetirizine. So these are the drugs that have names usually ending in adine. What are the clinical uses of the second generation H1 blockers? The second generation H1 blockers are generally over-the-counter medication that is used in the treatment of allergies and chronic hives. So basically these are the drugs that you hear all the time that is used in allergies. For example, loratadine is Claritin and Fexofenadine is Allegra. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.